What's up, guys? Today I'm here with Nick. Yo. <laughs> and so we're gonna be watching a video. It's gonna be we challenge you not to yawn. Mexican candy. Yeah, we got Mexican candy here, but I took it out my mouth because I need to talk to you guys. So try not to yawn, and it'll be good. This guy says it's really hard. It's impossible. You will yawn. You will yawn. I don't know. But, I'm just trying to the video anyway. Yeah. Subscribe, like, and comment, and go to his video, uh, YouTube channel. And subscribe and like for him. The YouTube channel is Elijah Lopez. And you'll see a cat. Yeah, Tizzy's face. Tizzy's face. It's a yep. cat. It's a cat. He's all stabby. Yeah. So, let's get started. I challenge you to watch this whole video without yawning. For many of you, seeing me yawn just now is enough to make you want to yawn too. But can you suppress it? Already you can feel a tightening in the back of your throat, a moistness in the eyes, a gentle pressure in the ears, a tenseness that you know can be relieved with one simple yawn. It's a biological impulse, the contagious yawn. Even seeing a picture of someone yawning with no sound or motion can be enough to induce a yawn. Or maybe you're one of those people who can read yawn or hear the word yawn, repeated yawn, and feel the need to yawn, yawn. Uh, why is yawning contagious? Uh, well, before we get into that, let me show you something. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's like my throat was thirsty for air. Uh, I feel much better now. And that's exactly the point. A yawn calms you down. If you're a pack animal, contagious yawning puts the whole herd on a synchronized sleep schedule. Of course, others say the exact opposite. That's hard. That a yawn gives you a momentary jolt of energy, and contagious yawning can keep the group alert when one individual starts to get a little drowsy. Yep, I'm up. Feels good to yawn, though, doesn't it? So good. Oh, so good. Whatever the reason, yawning remains a powerful neurological impulse, even across species. One study found that a human yawning can make a dog do the same. I cough. That is so crazy. Now you may be saying, I have no idea what you're talking about. I could watch people and dogs yawn all day long and not feel that weird breathless feeling in my chest or a vague buzzing in my ears. And if that's the case, you very likely have a neurological disorder that inhibits the development of empathy, <laughs> like schizophrenia or autism. In fact, doctors use contagious yawning to diagnose these very conditions. <laughs> or maybe your doctor's just bored with you. I've got this thing on my back. <sighs> but maybe you haven't yawned and you really want to. <sighs> this whole ordeal has been agony for me. <sighs> you wanted nothing more but to breathe deeply, stretch your jaw, and just... I'm gonna try that. And yes, it counts as a yawn if you do that weird thing where you try to yawn through one nostril. <sighs> yeah. Or if you try to yawn without opening your mouth so you look like a frog that's about to vomit. <laughs> but if you've Get truly it. resisted, then congratulations. You made it to the end of the video without yawning. You also put yourself in a lot of discomfort just because <sighs> some stranger on the internet told you. So, I don't know who the real winner is here. I just got all water even behind you. Huh? Huh? Again? <laughs> oh. Okay, well. <laughs> That's it for the video. Subscribe, like, come, go to his video, and go to his channel. My name is Jeff. No, my name is Twenty One. No, I'm sorry. Twenty One. Subscribe and go check out my friend uh, Steve O Gaming. You'll see a face like this. <laughs> and go check my own son. And uh, yeah, man. Tell your friends to watch me. You know what I'm saying? They're double gaming. Just you know what I'm saying. See you guys later on the next video. Peace.
bark, out and bark, chill. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I got that out. Yeah, but. Gargan Stay tuned and see you on the next video. Gargan Later.